for it? Um, I've been getting a lot of people that are like, well, I've, you know, I've gotten a bunch of calls on there to, you know, just send me your, your, your best offer. You know, I've got a bunch of, of offers, which I know is crap because I call them back in three days or whatever, and they still haven't sold the property or accepted an offer. Um, so how, how do you typically, you know, handle that conversation? Do you just dismiss them and, and tell them, you know, how do you typically handle that? Let me ask you something. When you were in high school or college and you took a pretty girl out for, out for a date and you took her to the doorstep, what was on your mind? Uh, you know, getting a little kiss, you know, closing the deal. Okay, cookie. yeah. Uh, somebody cookie. said, who said nookie? That's a, that's a nice I said cookie. I oh, said cookie. cookie. I thought you said nookie. That, only Steve and I would remember that word. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay, you're I not, didn't want to be that obvious. So, if, uh, well, if that pretty girl who you took out and you had a great time, you danced, you had, you went out for dinner, burgers or something like that. She closed her eyes and tilted her head, and you held it. You held out your hand and said, "Gee, we had a great time tonight. Goodbye." Or did you go? Yeah, that, would, yeah, that wouldn't happen. Okay, and ladies, I'm not a chauvinist. Okay, so, <laughs> it's just the best example I can come up. Sometimes you have to go for it. Um, when you somebody said when you chase somebody three days later, have you lost the mo moment? Uh, like we're seeing in these movies, there's a moment you watch it. It's, it captures your attention, the music, the acting, and everything. Do you lose all the je ne sais quoi, all the all the emotion three days later? Is it all gone? The momentum. So is gone. Yeah, and it's not really that I call him three days later. Uh, what what basically I do is maybe you should, Mister Mister Seller. You know um, that sounds like a good deal. Why don't you go ahead and take that deal, um, and then maybe what I'll do is I'll follow up three days later, and and then I have him on the spot because oh you didn't sell it, so maybe now we can get down to business. I would do it differently. Go go ahead. Ask me for uh, send me a contract or something like that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and send you over this contract right now. I'd love to get back with you, you know, in six hours. And, you know, let's let's lock this down. OK, no. What did he say to you? Uh, oh, what did he contract? say to me? Yeah. He says, um, you know, send me over your best offer. Um, you know, I have a lot of people, you know, I, it's a lot of people looking what, at this property. Best? I have a lot of people. Mr. Walker, Mr. Yes. Walker what, what do you need for what's your best offer? What do you need for me, for you and I? No, no, you, make, you make me the offer. You call me. You're very good, sir. You get a cookie. <laughs> I don't want no damn cookie. Just well, <laughs> send me your best offer. That's, that's the Don Rickles line. Sir, are we going to go back? Sir, can you mind if I tell you the truth here? Please. I'm going to spend about an hour and a half, two hours writing up this contract. I'm going to call you. You're going to go on witness protection, and we're never going to do business. Now, do you really want to sell your home today, or are we on a fishing trip? Boom. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Some uh, I want to sell, sell it. Uh, tell me the number. What's the magic number? Let's see if we can make it work. So I like you. I want to do business with you today, but I don't want to waste a lot of time. I hope you don't mind. What's the magic number, sir? Um, you can walk up here with 160000 in cash. It's yours. If I, so if I send you a contract today for $160,000, when you and I speak at 4.30 today and you send me back that signed contract, we can move forward and I can open escrow. Is that correct, sir? If you do all this. And That's correct. That. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. You know, you're a gentleman, sir. I like doing business with you. So you were going to meet me at 4.30, right? Because I got to shut. I got to do a lot of work here. Call my attorney, get escrow ready, and I'm going to draw up the paperwork. So you're comfortable with this decision and commitment because you strike me as a man of your word. Let's do it. What? Let's do it. Thank you, sir. Boom. Sometimes you got to step on their toes a little. So, you know, we're, I know we want to be polite and nice to people, but who's manipulating who when he says, send me an offer? What, is, what does that really mean? That means I got control ready. and you are playing my game and you're my puppet. You're the guy solving his problem. You're the doctor. The patient doesn't say, hey, doctor, write me a prescription for two years worth of Oxycontin, would you? you know, it doesn't work that way. That's not reality. He's got to say to him, what do you want him to think about you uh, uh, when, during the conversation? I got a hot one here. I've got a serious guy here. I've got a guy with the resources who can solve my problem today. You've got to carry yourself. That's the acting part, the thespian part, real important. Good question. Did I help you there? Absolutely. Thank you All so right. much. 
we got 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 a good video here. Next one. Next one is a uh, it's one of it's a real.